Come on guys, it's almost 2022. If you're still shopping from stores that don't have sustainability as part of their brand ethos, what are you doing? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin if you're new here and I am so excited to be filming today's video which is my fall slash winter haul. And if you're already a subscriber of mine, you will know that I only really put up hauls once for every season. I am very, very selective about the pieces that I do bring into my wardrobe. I am very, very anti overconsumption of fashion items, even though I love clothing and fashion so much. And if you're curious about my systems and how I avoid overconsumption, I'll actually link the video for that up above. But before we go, ahead and get started. I just wanted to say if you are new here, like I said, my name is Caitlin and on this channel we typically talk about fashion, travel, beauty, and lifestyle content. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, please go ahead and subscribe down below and go ahead and follow me over on my Instagram at Caitlin M. Catania where I post very similar things on there, like I said, fashion and travel. And I am very, very active on my stories now. I've gotten a lot better about talking to you guys every single day over on my stories. So if you want to talk to me or see how I style a lot of these pieces, you will definitely find that information there. I also do want to point out that the links for everything will be down in the description box down below. And you should go ahead and check out my blog, which will also be linked down below. And I have a little shop page on my blog with direct links to all of the things that I featured in various hauls and Instagram posts and blog posts and all that good stuff. So if you're curious about more pieces that I'm interested in and really loving, go ahead and check out my blog and check out the shop page on my blog. One last thing before we jump in to the haul, I just want to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video and that is Ana Luisa. And if you have been following me for on this channel or over on my Instagram, you will know that I have partnered with Ana Luisa before earlier this year and I am absolutely in love with their jewelry pieces. And there are quite a few reasons why I love Ana Luisa and why I think that you should check them out. But one of the biggest ones for me is that their jewelry style, in my opinion, Opinion is perfection. They have a perfect mix of classic pieces and trendy pieces that are fun and young but still something that feels like it could be in your jewelry collection for a long time without feeling dated. There is seriously something for everyone on the Ana Luisa website, no matter what your taste in jewelry is and whether you like gold or silver or any other kind of gemstones or anything like that. And even better, especially for someone like me who has very, very sensitive ears, their jewelry is great for sensitive skin. I don't have any reactions or anything or any irritation when I wear their pieces. And I am not kidding when I tell you I need to have high quality jewelry in my ears. Otherwise, I will face crazy complications. To make the deal even sweeter, all of their jewelry pieces are made with sustainability in mind. There's this amazing section on their website that I really love. I've looked at it quite a few times now and it is a page all about how transparent they are with where they get their materials from, like what their sourcing looks like and how they keep sustainability in mind through every single step of the production process of their jewelry from when they first start designing the jewelry all the way till when it arrives on your doorstep. And I love companies that are just completely transparent with their customers about where they get their materials from and how they want to incorporate sustainability because come on guys, it's almost 2022. If you're still shopping from stores that don't have sustainability as part of their brand ethos, what are you doing? They seriously make my go-to jewelry pieces. I have literally not stopped wearing their jewelry ever since I first started working with them earlier this year. And their biggest sale of the entire year is on right now. It ends on November 29th, so I'll put the link in my bio so you can access the sale. It is buy one, get one 60% off. Like, you could literally pick up earrings and a matching necklace for such an insane discount. So I would highly recommend going and checking out that Black Friday deal. I promise if you check out their website, you will find something that you can't wait to get your hands on. So like I said, link is in the bio, but now let's get on to the haul. Okay, so I was kind of debating on if I wanted to include this piece in the haul because it is not actually here with me yet. It is going to go right here when it does arrive. I only ordered it a few days ago, so I'm not surprised that it's not here yet because there are crazy delays with most Black Friday shipping right now, but they are, I'll put a picture here, 
these boots from Chloe. They are the Chloe Betty Rain Boots, and I'm not gonna talk about them too much because obviously I don't have them with me yet, but I just wanted to say that those are the only pieces that I picked up this year on Black Friday. I am gonna be browsing the Ana Luisa sale tonight though because I just can't get enough. But anyway, um, if you wanna learn what I think about those boots and what my experience is with them, please go ahead and subscribe down below because I am planning on doing sort of a follow-up video about them, whether I feel the need to do like an entirely dedicated video to them because I have seen a few of those videos that were really helpful to me when I purchased them. So I will be filling you in on more information about those. Maybe it'll be in like my end of the year favorites video if I end up really loving them, but just stay tuned for those. I just wanted to point it out because I know this video is going to be going live right around when everyone else is doing their Black Friday hauls. And that's the only thing that I've picked up so far from Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So I thought I would point that out. The next piece that I actually want to talk about is this skirt from Etsy. And I've been kind of rediscovering Etsy stores this year. I know that you can't see the skirt super well where I am now, but I do have a try on clip that I'll put over here on the side. If you're curious about the other pieces that I picked up from Etsy this year, I'll link my summer haul video up above. But this is from House of Ella on Etsy. And the reason I picked it up is because I have had my eye on the Orsand Iris, Orsand Iris, I know I'm not pronouncing that correctly, version of this skirt, but it was like $500 and they don't even make it anymore. And so I've been kind of looking for a dupe of it for a long time now. And I can tell this one is handmade and it is really high quality. Like it's much higher quality than like I would assume a fast fashion version of this style would be. I believe it was about $100, but for me that is completely worth it because for me this is a classic piece. I've been seeing one of my favorite Instagrammers. I believe her name is called Sammy Jeffcoat. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly, but she does a ton of reels and styling with the Orson Iris version of this skirt and she could totally afford that version. So like more power to her, but I just love the look of it over. I hope you can kind of see, but I've got some Gucci tights on and I love the sort of juxtaposition between this skirt and like other textures. So like these patterned tights or like chunky knits. So I think that this is a great piece for winter and late fall. And I think we're about to see a lot more of this style and even if we don't in my opinion it's a classic so if you've been thinking about getting a skirt like this and you live somewhere where you can get away with silky skirts especially in the fall winter I would highly recommend picking one up because it goes with basically everything in my wardrobe so definitely check it out all right moving on to the rack here now we've got everything else out of the way this piece is probably a hit or miss with a lot of people. If you follow me over on my Instagram, you will have seen this piece quite a lot through the fall. For me, this is a late summer, early fall piece, especially because I do live in Southern California. It was absolutely perfect for that weather, but now it is getting to a point where it's actually starting to get a little bit too cold to wear this on its own, and it doesn't look really good with anything styled on top of it, like any jackets or anything, but I am obsessed with this because it just flows so nicely and I talked about it a little bit in the video that I already linked up above about how I found my personal style and part of that journey that I've been on basically since the pandemic started of finding what's my personal style is that I have been leaning so much more towards skirts and dresses. Obviously I'm wearing a skirt holding a dress, um, but I don't know if it was the pandemic or just a lot of different factors, but I just don't get nearly as much enjoyment or comfort out of wearing jeans. Like I've been leaning a lot more into like trousers, like nice trousers. I don't know if that's because I'm growing up or whatever the case may be, but I just sometimes need, and I think everyone needs sometimes to just slip into something that's got no waistband and like this is the dress that I wore to Thanksgiving. I didn't even mention where it's from yet. It's from Marigold Clothing Company, which is a newer brand from, I believe, Arizona. I found them on Instagram. I actually am an ambassador of them. I like applied on their website to be an ambassador of theirs, but I've never like talked to their team or anything. If I have some kind of code, I'll link it down below or I'll put it up on the screen. But technically I am a Marigold Clothing Co. ambassador and it's just perfect for those days when you're like, oh my gosh, like, oh, I have to leave the house to run errands. I really don't want to put anything on. I'm in my PJs. Like, okay, let me just throw this on with some slides. And it's just perfect for, I've worn it out to like dinners again, so you can eat and you don't feel uncomfortable. 
Um, I've wanted to do so many photos. I feel like it would be great for like beach activities. And yeah, I would highly recommend checking out Marigold Clothing Company because I think this dress was around $100, but it feels so high quality for $100. Like, I really think this is a piece that's gonna last me for quite a few years, at least I hope I do. I was joking with my husband on Thanksgiving Day. I was like, you know what, if I still have this dress when we eventually decide to have kids, like, this would be a great pregnancy dress. It makes me feel really pretty, even if I feel maybe not so good about myself on a particular day. This one, I am not going to be trying this on for the YouTube video. I don't really feel comfortable trying on active wear and swimsuits yet on my YouTube channel. Maybe I will at some point, but that's just not something I want to do. But this one piece is from Kavala Collective. I've taken a lot of photos in this swimsuit and I am obsessed with it. I feel so confident in this swimsuit. It's really high quality. If I was still surfing, for those who do not know, I grew up, I was born and raised in Hawaii and I love to surf. I have not yet rediscovered surfing since moving to Southern California. I just, maybe I will, maybe I won't. But if I do, I will wear this on the warmer surfing occasions. Actually, you know what? I think you need a wetsuit year round around here. But anyway, this is a perfect like activity swimsuit. It is kind of cheeky on the back. It's actually a bit high cut on me. I don't know if it's really showing up on camera, but it's, it's not one of those ones that's crazy high cut, but it just, it's flattering. It's honestly just a genuinely flattering swimsuit. I have not felt this confident in a swimsuit since the Gooseberry Seaside Green One Piece that I picked up in my spring haul. I'll link that up above. This year has just been the year of like the one pieces for me, the flattering one pieces, and I don't mind. So definitely check out Kabbala Collective if you're interested in their swimsuit. They also do active wear, which is what I have here. I did pick up a set of their active wear. And again, I just don't feel super comfortable trying on active wear in front of the internet. <laughs> um, but Kabbalah Collective, I didn't really explain them. I believe they originated in Sydney or Byron. I don't know. I haven't been to Australia yet, so I'm not as familiar. I believe Byron is in Sydney. I could be totally wrong. But they are a super beachy, like really cute, kind of hippie, hipstery surfer girl. Like if you're an it girl from Australia and you like surf and go to the beach and stuff, you probably have worn Kabbalah collective before I feel like every week I see a new Australian girl that I follow wearing their pieces so their whole thing is like it's really cute patterns really high quality it's like buttery soft and it's all for like the sporty beachy girl I'm not saying that you have to be a sporty beachy girl to wear their stuff but if you do find yourself in that category like you're like a sporty beachy surfy girl with like you know, maybe I'm being too stereotypical, but if, if that's the aesthetic that you like, which Hawaii Caitlin, 18 year old Caitlin from Hawaii loved that aesthetic and I still do. And it does fit, feel fitting for where I live in Southern California. I am obsessed with their pieces. So I would definitely recommend checking them out. I would say their pieces are super reasonably priced for what you get. I do think that they are probably on the more expensive side for what you would typically pay at like um, a fast fashion retailer or you know, just a less expensive retail. They're probably mid price range, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But I believe that you definitely are paying for the quality that you're getting. It didn't feel like I got like ripped off or anything. Like I think this suit was less than $200. But like I said, everything will be linked down below so you can check it out yourself. And it'll be linked over on my shop page. Like I know for a fact, these two pieces, the two from Kavala Collective are already on my shop page. Some of these pieces are not on here on there yet. And then we have two more activewear pieces, and these are both from Third Love. And I only discovered Third Love this year. They started off as a bra and underwear company or women's lingerie underwear company. And I've always been really interested in them. It's kind of taken me a few years to shake the whole buying five for 25 <laughs> underwear deal at Victoria's Secret that I started in high school. And starting in COVID, it was kind of the year of me discovering like actually high quality um, underwear brands. And I know that these two things are not underwear. I have not yet tried Third Love's underwear, but they actually, for full transparency, these two sets were gifted to me for um, different campaigns that I've already shot. And I was excited to work with them, but then when I got their activewear pieces, blown away. So I really do like the Kavala Collective stuff. Like I would probably wear this set like, you know, out and about if I really wanted to, like it's cute, it's beachy, like you go to a little cafe. 
These pieces are really cute as well in my opinion, but they are no joke when it comes to workouts. And for reference, I am currently doing basically just at home Pilates, the occasional like hike or walk or you know, just kind of keeping my body moving throughout the day and I am loving it. I will be doing a video on my fitness and food sort of journey at some point. I'm still on that journey. I guess it technically never stops. But what I will say is for a company that only just started making activewear relatively recently, this stuff is so good. It's just, it, it almost feels like Lululemon quality. And I know Lululemon charges insane amounts for their activewear. I don't own any Lululemon stuff. From what I've heard, it is worth the price, but I felt other people's Lululemon clothes and it just feels so good. I never thought that I would be a workout bike shorts girl because I used to sort of be a workout booty shorts girl and I quickly outgrew that after high school because it's just a little bit terrifying when you're in the gym and you can feel like your butt cheek fall out of the bottom of your shorts. And also as someone who is 5'4", I always thought that this style wouldn't be super flattering on me. I love this set. My husband loves this set. I might as well show you the second one. I feel like I've only been showing you this first orange set here. and. It's just that perfect combination of workout clothes that are high performance and comfortable. And like I said, I also use the Kabbalah Collective workout gear to work out and I find them comfortable and flattering, but this is, for me, that's the cute stuff. This is the stuff that you, I, could, I feel like I could run in these pieces, even though I don't run anymore or currently I'm not running right now, I feel like I could run in these pieces and they would last me forever. So. I'm just going to quickly show you this set is from their newer collection and I'll put some pictures either from the model or from me because I'm shooting these in two days. Um, but up top here, it's like this really nice stretchy section that you can tell will just suck you in. I always love a set that's got like these interesting like color patterns on them. It's just kind of like a flattering way to sculpt your body. Oh my gosh, this just feels so high quality. I have tried this on already, haven't worked out in it because I am going to be shooting it soon. Um, but it just feels incredible and then the bra is obviously just matching. One thing I will say is that both of these third love sets did come with padding, but I don't like padding. I feel like most people don't like padding in their sports bras because there's just no way to keep it looking nice after a while. It just doesn't look good, but uh, I am obsessed. I honestly, I used to be a huge Nike girl and no shade on Nike. I, you know, obviously they're very good at what they do. <laughs> they are like such a prolific sportswear brand, but I have been slowly phasing out all of my Nike products and slowly phasing in things from like Third Love and now Kabbalah Collective. And there's been a few other um, brands that I've really enjoyed like Outdoor Voices and I'm trying to think of other ones set active and I feel like these smaller brands that are only focused on creating women's like matching bra and legging sets are so much more the vibe than the Nike stuff that I used to buy and so much more high quality. So this is your sign if you are kind of unsure about um, taking the plunge and buying slightly more expensive activewear from a smaller brand, definitely do it because I just feel so much more stylish. Like I get excited to work out because I get to put on my cute little like leggings and matching sports bra. I'm not gonna lie, I used to make fun of girls that would show up to the gym in matching leggings and a sports bra. And to be fair, I'm only working out at home. So I'm not really that girl, but it's still, it just makes me feel so excited in the morning. I feel like I'm putting on a new outfit, not just like the same low quality black Nike leggings that I have three pairs of, so. Rant over. <laughs> so this is, if I had to pick a hero piece of this haul, I think, well actually aside from the Chloe boots because I've been waiting to get those for like over a year. But this cardigan, it does not look like much when I'm holding it. It is from River Island. And I will fully admit, I was influenced into buying this and I regret nothing. So I follow a lot of influencers, obviously. I'm in the fashion creator space. And admittedly, it's actually not very often that, it's pretty much never actually, that I see a piece on an influencer and I'm immediately like, buy. Like, that's not something that I really do. Like I said before at the beginning of this video, I am extremely selective about what I purchase. But someone did recommend in my comments a few videos ago to do a shop with me video, like how I shop. And I think that might be an interesting idea. It was actually on that video about how I organize my style and how I found my style that someone recommended I do a shop with me 
YouTube video and let me know down below if that sounds interesting, kind of like what my process is and how I pretty much never buy things I regret anymore and it's such a good feeling. But anyway, um, so this was the exception. One of my favorite creators here on YouTube and Instagram is Josie London, AKA the Fashion Mumbler. And I only discovered her during the pandemic, so relatively recently. And she had this cardigan draped over a white sweater dress or a cream sweater dress, the same color as this, and then she belted it. And for me, it was instant love. And a quick note on long cardigans. I always thought they were a bit frumpy. I never really thought they'd be something that I would enjoy. I always associated them with like teachers and librarians. But again, it wasn't until the pandemic when I realized that one, they can be extremely flattering and help you look really classy and expensive if worn correctly. And they're so comfortable, especially if you're like me and you are mostly working from home or you just value comfort a lot more ever since the pandemic and you're just not willing to put on uncomfortable clothes anymore. I have found so much value out of, actually let me grab the other long cardigan that I have really quickly. So this is the other long cardigan that I have. I only have two. This one's actually really heavy. Um, this one is from Patagonia and my parents picked this up for me at the Patagonia outlet in Reno. I I believe literally when I was in high school so it was the spring of my it was either the spring of my junior year or my senior year of high school so 2014 or 2015 correct me if I'm wrong in the math but I think this guy is seven or eight years old and to be fair even though I only appreciated it within the last two years I have worn it a lot because I went to college in New York so this was a great layering piece to go underneath long coats like over sweaters and it would keep me warm walking to and from classes like in 12 degrees and it was snowing but it wasn't until this year that I actually started wearing it as an outerwear piece and this is so much more luxurious than this is this is my first ever purchase from River Island and I will be purchasing from River Island more because I think this was around, again, $100, again, linked below, all that good stuff. The quality of this is incredible. I believe in the try-on clip, I did sort of show you the close-up of these sleeves. This camera is not really good at auto-focusing because it's my big expensive camera with the big, big lens on it. Um, but the details, hopefully you can see this on the back like you've got like three different types of knits on here it like blends into like a third type of knit on the bottom it's so, like three knit patterns fold over collar it's super heavy there's pockets like this is the highest quality knitwear piece that i own i cannot way to style this. If I had to recommend one piece from this entire haul, this is the gem. And I know it probably seems super lumpy, super unassuming on camera, but I feel like that rich aunt that shows up to the Christmas party who's not married and no one knows where her money comes from and she's always giving out the best presents. Like that's how I feel every time I've tried this on. So can't wait to style it. Be sure to follow me over on my Instagram because I'm gonna be styling this cardigan so much this winter. So if you're not convinced right now, definitely check out my Instagram and you will see how I style it. All right, the last two pieces are the loudest ones and I'm sure you can already tell what this is. This is a red suit. And if I had to pick a piece from this haul that I'm the most 50-50 on, I'm still keeping it, but um, I don't know if I would recommend this, is this piece. And here's why. So I have always wanted a red suit. I think they look incredible. I remember there's this picture of one of my favorite Instagrammers content creators. Um, her name is Meets on Rider. I'm sure you guys follow her. She posted a Topshop red suit like years ago and I have saved that photo on Instagram for like basically as long as I can remember and I refer to it a lot. It's in like my Christmas outfit inspiration and I've seen so many red suits throughout the years whether it's on Pinterest or Instagram. I think red suits when worn correctly look phenomenal. This is mostly probably going to be for creating content for me and maybe I'll wear like just the top or just, just the blazer or just the bottoms to like a Christmas party or something. But here is why I'm not 100% sold on this one but I'm still going to keep it. So as much as I want a red suit, all of the higher quality red suits that I could find online and I've searched like a lot over like the course of like the last few weeks to find red suits that I really am interested in and I like the look of 
and the only ones that I do are like in the $500 and above price range and I think that's fair. I'm not saying that those are unreasonable price points but considering a red suit is by no means a staple in anyone's wardrobe, at this stage in my life I just didn't feel comfortable spending like hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a red suit. I believe this one was about $150? if you combine the two pieces, and it is from Zara, so I will say it is pretty good quality, but as you'll see in the try-on clips, it just doesn't fit me super well, and it's not because it's the wrong size or anything, it's just the way it's constructed, like the shoulder pads in it, I think are slightly too narrow for my actual shoulders, and so it looks kind of funny because the my arm will stick out a little bit farther, it just, I don't really know how to describe it, it just, is not made for my body it's just not made super well as far as construction but i do like the material of it i do think this is a suit that could last me for a few years until i decide to level up and actually get a nice one like maybe if i have a very special event like a few years down the line i would want to invest in a much nicer suit but i think that for what it is i definitely am going to keep it it was definitely worth the money that i spent on it but I am not 100% sure if I would recommend it to other people unless you're like me and you like the idea of a red suit but you don't have hundreds and hundreds of dollars to spend on like a really really nice one. I'm not saying this isn't nice. It is. If I had to rate the quality I would probably give it a 6 out of 10. If I had to rate the fit I'd probably give it a 5 out of 10 and for what I paid for it and considering that I know that I'll actually get use out of it, fair. Um, so if you are looking for holiday wear that looks good enough, will probably last you like two, maybe three years if you take good care of it and doesn't break the bank, I would go with Zara, but I am trying to sort of stay away from consuming too much fast fashion. That's like one of like only maybe less than five fast fashion pieces I've bought this year. Everything else has definitely been above the fast fashion price range, so I feel comfortable with that and I'm not gonna beat myself up about it too much. So you have to check out my Instagram again if you wanna see how I style that and sort of how it looks on me. I think it'll look great in photos um, and great at any Christmas events that maybe I wanna wear it to, but it's not my red suit for life, if you know what I mean. And that is it for this video. I just want to say again a huge thank you to Anna Luisa for working with me on this video. I would highly, highly recommend checking out Anna Luisa and their pieces and their buy one get one 60% off sale that they have going on right now. So go ahead and click the link in my description to check out that sale. And be sure to check out my website down below because I do believe that I have a little curation of all the Anna Luisa pieces that I own on my website. So if you want to own the same stuff that I do, go ahead and click those links down below. You know the deal. I've already plugged the blog. I've already said here's the Instagram, but here it is again. And if you liked this video, please go ahead and subscribe down below and give this video a like. Let me know if that shop with me video sounds interesting to you because it is something that I put a lot of thought process into. I am never someone to just click buy on something. I will take weeks, months, sometimes even over a year to finally pull the trigger on buying something because I'm just so careful about where my money goes. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you had a successful Black Friday shopping season. I hope you have a great, you know, start of the Christmas season and I will see you on my next video which will be a winter trends video and I'm really excited for that one. So if you want to know what to wear this winter, subscribe down below and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!